Are you looking for the best Adobe Premiere Pro export settings for YouTube? If so, stay tuned. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be breaking down the best settings for exporting through Adobe Premiere Pro. And we've got a trick up our sleeve to help make sure your video quality looks the best it possibly can on YouTube. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so you're done editing your video and you're ready to export it to YouTube, but you don't know the best way to do it or even how to do it. Well, that's okay. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your sequence is selected. And if you don't know what your sequence is, that's okay. That is normally what your timeline is. It's normally set as a sequence. So what you would do is just make sure that you are selected in that sequence. So you can do that by clicking anywhere in your timeline or by clicking on your sequence name. Mine is currently named main sequence. You can tell that is selected by a blue box or kind of a blue highlight around the box showing you that it's selected. Once it's selected, you can press Control M on your keyboard or go to File and then Export and then Media. This should bring up the export settings. Once you're in export settings, make sure match sequence settings is unchecked and then set the video format to H.264. This is what YouTube recommends because it's easier for them to process it on their end. If you are uploading in pretty much anything that YouTube or Adobe Premiere has listed here as a preset for YouTube, go ahead and use it. It's probably going to work great. So for instance, if we were uploading in 720p, we would select 720p. And then we would go ahead and select what we wanted to name our video. So I would probably not call this main sequence. So let's just call this how to tech video. And then we would click save. And this is just telling it, we want to save this video and we want to export it as how to tech video in MP4 format to this folder. And then make sure export video and export audio is checked. And then the presets that we set should go ahead and select the video information here. And then the only thing I would uh, suggest checking as well is use maximum render quality. It's gonna make your video look slightly better and then click export. With all that being said, I actually have a huge tip, especially if you're uploading YouTube videos in 1080p. And this is probably a majority of most people uploading videos to YouTube. And my suggestion is to not upload your 1080p videos that you record and edit in 1080p. Do not upload them as 1080p. What I would suggest doing is actually upsampling your videos from 1080p to 1440p. And the reason why is because YouTube uses codecs for their video. This is needed because there's tons of video and they need a way of streaming it to your house and making sure your video gets crunched down so it's not huge file sizes but there is a problem with this. So for example, any video that is under 1440p is gonna use the codec of AVC1. To find this on your videos, just right click on a video and click stats for nerds and you can see which video codec is being used. So whenever I upsample my video from, AV, uh, from 1080p that is to 1440p in a right click, we can see that a video that was recorded in 1080p and upsampled is now getting VP09. So you might be asking, what is the benefit of VP09? Well, essentially it is a better codec and it's gonna let your video stream with probably a little bit more of bitrate and it's just going to look better. And a great example that I've seen is when I bought a new camera, I was uploading videos directly in 1080p and they didn't look good whenever I was looking at them through the YouTube studio. So what I did was I did a bunch of research, found this out, and I started uploading them in 1440p and the video looks so much sharper and a lot better and the colors don't look just as blurred out and the video looks great. So. You might be asking, how do I upsample from you know 1080p to 1440p because YouTube actually doesn't have a preset for that. I honestly have no idea why there's not an option for this because this is actually a very popular format that I've seen people uploading YouTube in, but I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own custom preset for it. So what I suggest is actually selecting this YouTube 2160p, otherwise known as 4K Ultra HD, and we'll select that one and it will use this preset and we're just going to adapt it to what we need it to be. So for the width, we're gonna change this. This is actually our resolution and we're gonna change this resolution from this two, uh, 3840 to 2560. And if this chain is selected, it should automatically change the height and we can see that goes to uh, 1440. 
and that is good. The next thing we need to change is possibly the frame rate. So if you are, you know, your timeline here, you're working with 60 frames a second, you can uncheck this and change it to 60 frames a second. I actually work in 30 frames a second, so I'm gonna leave that the same. And then I definitely suggest if you have the option to change this, make sure this is set to progressive. And then we make sure that the aspect ratio is set to 1.0. And then if you want to select render at maximum bit depth, but it does take the video longer to encode. So I normally just leave that the same and I don't mess with any of the encoding settings here because I believe those are fine. And the bit rate is where we're actually going to set some settings. So since we're up you know, up resing our video from 1080p to 1440p, we still want a good bit rate for the video. So what I suggest doing is going to this page right here, I'll leave the link in the description and finding whichever resolution you want to set. So for example, if you are doing standard or SDR or non HDR video, that is, it is suggested for 24, 25 and 30 frames a second for this to be 16 megabits a second. And if you were going to do HDR, it suggests 20. But if your frame rates are higher, you would actually select a higher bit rate. So for my use case of me using 1440p and I'm doing 30 frames a second, I would use 16 megabits a second because I'm not uploading HDR content. So if you were, for instance, doing the same thing, you wanted, or you were wanting to upload a 1440p video in HDR with 60 frames a second, you would use actually 30 megabits a second. So go ahead and reference this to figure out exactly what you need for your use case. So for mine, I'm gonna go ahead and set both of these um, I like setting my target bit rate to the exact frame rate, so 16, and then I like to give this a buffer of probably about five or so, but I'll just round it up to 20. That way, if we need it, we can actually have an increase in bit rate all the way up to 20 megabits per second. The other video settings in here are left unchecked, and then make sure that you check right down here at the bottom, use maximum render quality, and then you're ready to export your video. But if you are like me, you probably want to go ahead and save this as a template so you don't have to do this every single time you go to uh, up export a video out of Adobe Premiere. To do that, go ahead and click on Save Preset and it'll give you an option to set a name for it. We don't need to check these bottom two boxes because we didn't do actually any effects or publish settings. So what I would do is go ahead and name this. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna name this How To Tech Tutorial. And then I'm going to name this uh, 1440p and then click OK. And what this will do now is it'll change the presets name and you can actually see I already have a YouTube 1440p, but this is the one that we just created together. And anytime I go to edit, I can just go down here to presets and select the right one. And then all I have to do is click export. So all right guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy that like button and get subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. Also, check out our community Discord linked in our description down below. We now have over 100 people inside there and that is awesome. And if you guys want to support the channel financially, we also have a Patreon link down there as well. No rush on that. But yeah guys, that is gonna be all for this video on the best Adobe Premiere Pro export settings for YouTube. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.